What's up everyone, it's Motion Derby for Life. I'm here at the Meeker County Fair, and it is, or not fair, uh, just one of their derbies or whatever that they have. They do like three a year, this is like their second one. And then the next one is their fair, and the derby is over with. I am gonna do a prelude aftermath video of the whole fair, of all the cars that are still here, and what, look at me, have, blah, 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 how they're all smashed up and everything, so. Here we go, guys. 316. What took him out is he lost the back tire on it. On the uh, truck, or Suburban. Most of these vehicles were all... Oops, shoot. There we go. Most of these vehicles were all uh, uh, fresh but some of them weren't. This one actually was not a fresh one. Now this one is very, very well torn apart. What took this one out is it got stuck in the mud, or in the dirt. See the frame was probably on the ground and couldn't go anywhere. Moving along. For you, I think, had some starter issues, or fuel issues, one of the two. Was running good, and then it just, poof, stopped. Couldn't get back started, so. Could be many things. It could be starter, fuel, it could be just the battery went weak or shot. Um, could be many things. I don't know what that kind of car that is. It's it's a rear wheel drive small car. That's no problem. The D7 actually didn't run here. I don't think he got here in time or something. So he didn't run actually in the trucks today. Or he or something happened not while I was sitting on the trailer. Could be many things. car that we started out here with. What took you out? Uh, the car kind of kind of pushed in. Oh, okay. The gas pedal thing was controlling. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. It's always it was her first time, so she had fun. Oh, she, she ran. Okay, she had fun. Yeah, that's good. There was, and you said it was her first time. Not, she didn't do too, too bad. I mean, she didn't place She forgot the, about the hand throttle that was in there, too. So okay. If she would have remembered that, she would have done a lot better. It's her first time. It's always a learning experience when it's your first time. Pull it down, run it again. Oh, yeah. Easy fixes. Sure. Where are you planning on running, running it next? City. Rush City? When is that? That's a couple weeks, isn't it? Next Friday. Next Friday. Alright. 
see if I go to that. Hey, where is that up at? That's up by Pine City. Okay, so it's a ways away. I'll be at Howard Lakes. Yeah, that's that. I, I was either gonna go to Howard Lake or maybe go to a different one. But I don't know. Howard Lake's been kind of dying down a little bit. But huh. usually only like nine or ten cars on the Sunday show, but they moved it to Saturday for some reason. Did they move it to Saturday? Yeah, it's Friday and Saturday this year. Really? And the tractor pulled on Sunday. Oh, I didn't know that they were switched that up. I think Adam said it was something about uh, insurance reasons or something like that. Oh, that's weird. I know I'm going to be there on Wednesday night for the combine, and I'm running. I'm actually going to be running in the lawnmower derby. Lawnmower? You're yep. Colin, right? No, I'm. I'm uh, Jordan. I run or YouTube. I run the Derby for Life YouTube oh, channel. Oh, Derby for Life. Yeah. Yeah. This is just just some just a video of like the prelude of all the aftermath of the cars or whatever, and just just for the hell of it, just to see you. But. So this car is running at uh, Rush, Rush, Rush City. Sydney. Yeah, pull it down. A couple plates. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So, well, that was nice talking to you, man. Thank you, man. Nice seeing you too. Uh, Take it easy. You too. Here we got the 714. I'm not sh exactly sure what took him out. He was running good, and then I think maybe just got tweaked a little bit. What took you out? Tranny. Again? I, I remember it happened at uh, Winter Slam, didn't that? Or I thought you were in Winter. Nope. Hmm. Nope. The only one I ran, I didn't lose any trannies last year. Honestly. Before. I remember a couple, yeah, I remember that you've had tranny issues before. Oh, Lake. Yep. Oh, Lake took a tranny out. Yep. yep. Yeah, that was a different truck though, so. Yeah. But yeah, trannies and me, we don't get along. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we don't get along. Uh, no. it, it's, uh, it happens, but. I'm not paying $300 to $400 for it. No. Do you just re. Do you have like spares that you just pull out of different trucks and then just swap them back in? Best thing to do. Yep. Cheapest way, too. Yep. <laughs> but. Exactly. And yeah. you too. How much do they pay out here? I don't know, 600. Was it that much? For oh. this class. For that class? Yeah. That's pays for, pays for some of the stuff at least. Yeah. How many runs have, have you had on this truck now? Probably 15. 15 now? Or a couple more. That's not too bad. But it probably took you a couple years to build it. The driver's up there over there. Oh. I, I'm not. Oh, I thought you were the driver. No. no. Oh, he's getting his payout money. Yeah, yeah, he is. Oh, well, it's, it's a damn well-built truck, that's for sure. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> well, this car is going to be hauled off the scrap. It's all beat up, for sure. It's bent pretty good, too. Oh, shit. Uh, this guy, these two here, the 91 is the guy that actually won the compact heat. This is the guy that got second. These two, I believe, are together. Um, I think he had some steering issues. I'm not exactly sure. And, I mean, this back tire was locked up, so that didn't help that he was just dragging the whole back end. This guy's definitely got a few, few more runs on this thing. He actually was going nose the whole time, and he did pretty freaking good. I think he got Mad Dog too. Some, I think he said this was a Camry. Camrys are 
coming down here in, to Minnesota too. They're doing pretty good. And they're built right. Here's that Bronco or whatever this thing is. He actually got, he was like the first one out. He lost his uh, tire and then the track was so like muddy, or not muddy, but like if you got stuck in one spot and you started digging, you just sunk and you were sitting on your frame pretty quick, quickly. Here we got the wagon. He, uh, I mean, that's a little different. Weld the shocks on one side and weld it to the frame on the other, unless that thing got pushed in. Start of the nose, I think th this thing's got another run it. At least one more run. He might be bringing this to uh, Hutch. That guy got fifth out of the, that class. He got, uh, he lost reverse or something like that happened in that vehicle. Don't know exactly, but he got stuck up in, like up against one car and then he couldn't put in reverse to get out, so. Sucks, but it happens. Oh, future derby car right there. Hello, Mark. Here we got a cut cutlass. Another future derby. He lost his drive shaft. Hello. How are you guys doing? You ran this? I didn't. Oh, you did. I welded. I, oh, you welded it. So it's your fault. Three different yeah. drive shafts in one. <laughs> well, that's that's when you like just keep shoving shit inside it until. It, Did you fix your back window yet? No, not yet. <laughs> it still doesn't sit in there shattered. No. Yep. Pretty much. Just I like. Ah, uh, I didn't. I don't have one. I don't have a car built. So you had that -Doo -Doo. I got the van. Yeah. I, I'm going to bring that to Carver. But I actually, I got a nut. I don't know where that kid went. But Is the, this one on YouTube or something? Yeah. It's, it's like the pre aftermath prelude of all the freaking vehicles. Famous. famous, guys. There we go. The famous. <laughs> what? I'm famous. <laughs> what? They're whining. <laughs> Whining. That's nothing new. <laughs> but, yeah. I didn't know you guys were here. Oh, yeah, I know, but. But I didn't know. Did you not see my Snapchat at 4 o'clock in the morning building this piece of shit? No, I didn't actually. I don't use Snapchat too much. What the hell? I on my story. I'm always, I'm too busy down in the shop building shit. <laughs> I've been up for two days building on this piece of shit. It is a dodge. And that's how bad it's Two days of welding and it still breaks. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. I had a, I was talking with the guys, so, and then, this is here for probably a good 20, 30 minutes, so. Yeah, here we go, guys. Here's some more of the aftermath of the cars. Guy, the 162 got third place. That's the one of the MOG cars. Here we got 101X. He actually got third in the truck heat. He, own, he owns these two cars, and he didn't do very good with that one. Oh. Sorry about that guys, my camera died, so I got the other one out. He, like I said, lost his drive shaft and I talked with these guys for a little bit. This guy, not sure. This one was in Mighty Minis. He won his heat in the uh, welded class. 
Looks just about as what it, one in there. A lot of freaking welding on this vehicle. Start the nose a little bit, but not too bad. Here we got the 55. He he got out of his car for some reason. I think he well, he got sprayed with a bunch of uh, a bunch of like an or like the coolant and shit. So and got it all over his face and chest and everything. He got burnt. So. Yeah, I don't blame them. That fucking sucks. Here we got... Which one is this? 58. He actually got third. Third in the chain stock. He did pretty good. I mean, considering how high that nose is from... Pretty freaking... Pretty freaking high. Thirty-nine and thirty-nine. These uh, these two got first and second. But yeah, here you go, guys. There's pretty much the all the vehicles that were here. Um, was it some kind of different video? Just thought maybe you guys would like to see all the aftermath of the cars, just to kind of see them up close and personal just to kind of see but but yeah um thank you guys for watching all my videos i hope you enjoy this video guys um don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button if you're new uh and we'll catch you guys later